Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now this weird and rarely seen thing called the sun came out in England today and I decided to get back outside for some good old fashioned GPU benchmarking. This is the NVIDIA 7900 GTO. What does GTO stand for you may ask? Well, perhaps like with certain sports cars it means Gran Turismo Omologato or something simpler like same great taste zero sugar. Truthfully, GTO doesn't stand for anything in the graphics card world, it just defines a product's standing in the performance hierarchy. Oddly enough though, perhaps that latter saying may apply. See the 7900 GTO offered the same great performance as its bigger brother, the 7900 GTX, even with a little something taken away. In this case, the 7900 GTO featured a lower memory clock, different memory timings, and lacked a couple of features, but underneath it was based on the exact same G71 GPU as the 7900 GTX, and features the same amount of pixel shaders, same core clock, and same memory type. One considerable difference though was the price. Launching at just $250, this was about $150 less than the 7900 GTX, yet offered only 5-10% to less performance, and that was before an overclock. For this reason, it was very popular among enthusiasts, and was a limited production release intended to use up any remaining G71 GPUs before the release of G80. As such, the 7900 GTO spent about a month in retail before selling out and disappearing entirely. Today, we'll be taking a look at how this old girl performs, and I got this MSI Air version working on legacy 306.97 drivers with Windows 10. I also try to match the clock speed of the 7900 GTX, as many enthusiasts would have done back in 2006, but came up short with the maximum memory clock being 740 MHz instead of 800, before the card just gave me a grey screen. But let's check out some gameplay. With maximum DirectX 9 support, it doesn't make too much sense buying one these days, unless it's for a retro rig, but back in the day, the GTO saw great results in games as it was essentially a high-end card with a mid-range price tag. Performance in new games is hit and miss with some titles running well at 720p. Fallout New Vegas for example at 720p ran at medium settings just fine, maintaining a solid 60fps in a lot of areas, though you can expect the frame rate to drop during more intense moments. Luckily New Vegas is quite a slow paced game so there is no real worry of that, in fact those dust tornado things do more damage to the frame rate than any combat scenario. Far Cry 2 at medium settings also played fairly well, with a solid 30 frames per second, though unlike New Vegas the frame drops came more often than not. Still, turning things all the way down to low would probably help out a bit, but the game will still drop down to the mid and even low 20s on occasion. I then jumped into a match on Call of Duty Black Ops just to see if we could see decent frame rates here, though even at 800 by 600 performance was quite poor. The footage here is from a bot match, but the figures were taken from an online game on the same map. The result wasn't too unexpected, considering the age of the card. Finally, I gave the original Assassin's Creed a go, which ran the best today at 720p resolution with the low settings once again. As I said, a card like this wouldn't make much sense these days, unless older games are your priority, but just like me with a lot of hardware it's the history behind it and the thought of what it once was that fascinates me, and this was certainly a once great choice for so many budget enthusiasts. There we have it, I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at the 7900 GTO, a card that released in 2006 to a very limited retail market, and it was so popular that it sold out very very quickly as well as always guys if you enjoyed this video please leave a like on it leave a dislike if you didn't let me know if you ever had one of these cards in your system or even still do in a system somewhere subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hopefully i'll see all of you in the next video